All right. This is where it begins. Are you ready? What's the problem? What? No, of course not. You won't have to fight. I take it... You're still not ready to turn your back on them? Hey, I get it. Why do you think we took you along with us? You never want to see your friends get hurt. But believe me. These people. They have no idea what they're fighting for. They have no idea what they're fighting against. You're better off with us. You need to abandon them. You don't have to fight them. You don't have to kill them. But you do have to leave. Look. Now's really not the best time to explain all of this. They could find us at any second. And if they do, you need to be ready to run, to hide, and if they try to hurt you, I doubt they will. They'll know you're on their side still. They'll know that we forced you to come along with us. But if for some reason they try to harm you, you need to be ready to fight for your life. Think you can do that? Good. I said now isn't the best time to explain that. We need to be paying attention. If we hear anything, it could mean that someone is getting closer. It could mean that our hiding spot is going to be discovered. We need to be prepared for the worst case scenario. Oh? All right, then. If you'll consider becoming a warrior like us based on what we're fighting for, fine, I, I guess I can try to explain all of it. But pay attention, okay? I only want to say this once. Aaron possesses the power of the Founding Titan. It's the most powerful Titan in terms of its abilities. In terms of size, of course, that's the Colossal, the power which Bertolt possesses. The Founding Titan when controlled by a royal, someone of royal descent at least, it can be used to control other titans. Yes, that's similar to what Annie did in the forest. She called the other titans to eat her so she couldn't be taken prisoner. It worked for the time being, but of course, now she's still imprisoned. But at least she isn't being hurt. What? No. No, I'm not fond of her. 
We joke, but I only really see her as a friend. To be honest, I probably care more about you than I do her. No, no, I'm not saying that I don't care about her. Just in terms of what you were referring to. Yeah, that is one of the reasons why I insisted that we take you with us. I wanted to keep you close. But keeping you close also meant keeping you safe. And that was my main concern at the time. Right. We need Aaron's power back on our side. It used to belong to the king here. And... He threatened us with it. We come from a society far beyond the walls. Across the sea, in fact. Yes. The sea is real. And it's as vast as Armin says. Our society lies across the sea. The king threatened to use the power that the Founding Titan possesses against us if we ever attacked this place. He said that the Titans within the walls would be unleashed and would flatten our world. We want to take that power back so we can be safe. Well, years ago, centuries in fact, as I said, there was an original Titan. Her name was Amir Fritz. She was an Eldian, and she used the power of the Titans to, as we were taught, wreak havoc on humanity. Yes. That's why we believe the Titans attack people now. They are Eldians. Eldians who were transformed into Titans and took on the nature of the Titans that was originally given to them, being vicious and cruel, full of bloodlust. The reason the king threatened our society was because, well, We don't take too kindly to Eldians. In fact, we Eldians are the bottom of the barrel. We have specific limitations, specific rules. All because of what Emir did. Yeah. Zeke, Bertolt, Annie, and I are all Eldians. That's why we can wield the power of the Titans. And everyone within these walls, they're all Eldians too. Hang on. Be quiet. I hear someone. They know we're in the walls. 
Hey, no. Do not yell. If you yell, and they find us because of that, I will tell them that you're on our side. You won't be able to convince them otherwise, because they'll only view you as a liar. Do you understand? Now be quiet, all right? Turn away. Turn away. You won't want to see this. <laughs> oh, shit. <gasps> Reiner. Stay back, would you? Hey, I said stay back. Where are you going? Uh, you! Hey, hey, grab my hand. I'll pull you up. Uh, gotcha. Where have you been? Well, I guess you've been here. How did you... I thought so. Well, it's all right. You're safe now. Come with me. We'll get you to Commander Irwin, okay? Oh. Damn. Right. You don't have your gear. And we certainly don't have any supplies to spare. Um, I'm sure we can figure something out, though. Huh? No. We still don't know where Bertolt is. You might know? Okay, we really need to get you to the commander then. Come on! Hey. What's wrong? No. I'm afraid we weren't able to get Emir back. What are you saying? You... You're not coming? Why not? I mean... It's your decision, but... We need to get out of here. You're not safe here. And... We need to tell the commander everything you know. How do you... Did they tell you that? Is that why you're refusing to go? What? They want you... Join their side? They want you to... Eat Emir and gain her power. You're not... You aren't going to do that, are you? You're not, right? Why aren't you saying anything? No. No, I know you. We all know what you believe in. We all know why you fight. You can't seriously be considering abandoning that all. No, no. There... there has to be another side to the story. Whatever he told you, whatever they told you... You can't just focus on one side of the story. 
That's being ignorant. It's... It's being careless. Then... If you're choosing their side... We'll be forced to take you as a prisoner. Really, what can you do in this situation? You have no gear. You can't turn into a titan. You're either a prisoner, or you're dead. That's all there is to it. Hey! I don't think so. I'm sorry, but... I can't let you get away from us. You're our friend, our comrade. I'm not going to let them brainwash you into joining their side. Do you understand me? I know. I know each side of a war has a reason to fight. But you need to remember your reason. You need to remember your drive, your motivation. You need to stop listening to your enemy. Listening to your enemy. Understanding them. It's good, but... You can't let them sway you. They're just trying to use you. Please. Let's try to work things out, yeah? This can end peacefully. But you have to help us start that process. Can you do that? 